Mm. Welcome to episode two, as we move from complexity and overwhelm to simplicity and presence. I'm gonna talk a little bit today about depression and anxiety and how they relate with the creative process. I've actually had time away from my home, away from my studio, and I've realized that I have been putting a ton of psychological pressure on myself to to make this happen to the point where I'm actually like pretty exhausted, like spiritually very tired. <laughs> and I didn't even I wasn't even aware of that fact. You know, I think it's in the times when we're able to relax is when we get to connect with how we've been treating ourselves. As the confines of the distorted patriarchy lift their clouds from our awareness, we are given moments to feel the way that our culture and conditioning has repressed the feminine by overemphasizing the importance and value of a masculine operating system where action supersedes receptivity. As the yin energy within arises in our awareness, we can see ways we are being beckon to heal our relationship and orientation to this way by embracing receptivity as a necessary step that precedes action. It's really important to remain uh, in a state where there's breathing room with your creativity and to go back to the basics. Like if you need to work on your editing, just like film stuff (laughs) it doesn't it doesn't need to be any particular thing you know the feminine aspect needs space to receive and the creation process requires both the feminine and masculine parts be engaged and valued first we open up and we prioritize rest or restoration This is where the flow from the great mystery can fill our experience with inspiration. From this place of clear reflection, like we see in the water, we can be filled. And from this place of simplicity, activate our masculine and begin the process of creating in balance. Honoring and connecting to the water gives us an opportunity to be in relationship to simplicity and can show us how to clarify our creative process. We take a moment and receive the flow of inspiration. As it fills us in our moments of stillness, we reflect on how we are nourished, inspired to flow and quenched by our process. We release pressure and control. The water does not fight to flow. It simply moves in purity and beauty. Then we can move forward and activate our creation process in both joy and balance. I'm ready at this point to just be uh, involved in the creative process more and, you know, letting things that are, that are causing me anxiety to just rest and to just Um, get out of this story of like, I'm not enough, I'm not doing enough, I won't be able to achieve, you know, the things that I want, like I'm letting go of that story. And, um, and it feels pretty good. We go to gather wild water to cultivate our relationship to the divine feminine, as she manifests in our reality. We bring flowers and make offerings to heal our relationship and practice reverence towards the waters in our environment. And in this action, we simultaneously heal our relationship to valuing and giving space to our emotional intelligence, the beauty of our feminine essence who connects us to our experience through our feelings and heart. This simple practice can up-level our inner relationship which in turn gives us more enjoyment in our creation process, no matter what we are trying to bring from the unseen to the manifest reality.